welcome back or welcome to the channel so in today's video I, sorry literally like uh, my phone's like so messed up but in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail on mobile and um i'm also gonna do like how to do it on computer later like once my computer gets fixed but yeah so I already told you the apps you'll be needing. Anyways, um, so the first thing I'm gonna show you just how to do like a regular thumbnail with Pixart. So I'll show you two different ways to make a thumbnail for Pixart. I don't know. So just go into Pixart and <laughs> sorry, it's loading. Go into Pixart and click the little plus button at the bottom. And then uh, I'm gonna search up uh, aesthetic wallpaper. I don't know, just aesthetic wallpaper. And you can find whichever one you want. Um, I'm gonna do this one. We'll do this one. And I'm gonna go into FX effects at the bottom. And I'm gonna blur it. So it's just like blurred. And then I'm going to go into stickers and I'm going to look up Roblox girl, like GFX or whatever. And I'm just going to pick a random GFX and like do it over here or something. And then like text saying like how to make a thumbnail. Sorry, I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. And then you can change like the style of it. So I'm gonna do the color like pink or something. Actually, no, we'll do white. And then the stroke will be like pink, which is the outline if you didn't know. Actually, we're gonna make it like blue or something. I don't know. Something that stands out. And you can like add whatever you want, like stickers. You can add like, I don't know, it's like a glitter. Glitter. I don't really know. You can like get like a glittery thing like this and put it like over. So like this is a thumbnail and then you just save it onto your phone and it's like saved. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to make HEFX. So go into Roblox and this is like a way you can do it. You don't have to do it this way, but this is just how I do it. You don't need a green screen or anything. Just go into Roblox, find an outfit you like, like wear the outfit you like, and then go to profile. Oh, I'm so tired, sorry. Um, go to your profile and then go down to here where like your picture is and then screenshot it. It's taken forever. And then go in there and crop it. So just to like hear whatever. Just crop it. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, so just crop it and click save to photos. And then go into this app called Magic Eraser. By the way, I don't know if this works for like Samsung. So if you're like a Galaxy Samsung user, I'm like really sorry if it doesn't work. But yeah, so just go into there. There's an ad, of course. Oh my god, I'm literally so tired. I feel like I'm gonna like fall asleep like I'm not even lying okay um and click photo and all most of these photos of, are all are of my dog or um adopt me so that's good I don't have to like do anything then click done and then go to like just keep it on this like little magic button and hover over it till like it's gray and it will cut probably most of it out, but if it cuts things like your arm out or your hair out, don't like panic and undo. Go to this little like marker button at the bottom, the one that's called restore, and then just go through and restore the hair. And you're probably not going to get every single like black part out, but you can try your best. And if there's any black parts that you need to erase, just go to the erase button. And erase. Actually, I'm going to redo what I just did. So, after erasing all the parts by using the erase tool and restoring any parts that you need to restore, 
um, click like the little button up here, like the little button, click PNG, and then high resolution. And then go and go in back into Pixar. And basically just do the same thing. I'll just give you a little example. But click the plus button. And then look up like aesthetic. I can't spell. Um, aesthetic like background or whatever you want. And pick a background that you like. And then for effects I usually just do blur. Oh my goodness, are you going to load? <laughs> and then stickers. For stickers, you can do whatever you want. Um, well, actually, no. First, go over, before you do stickers, go over to where it says add photo. And then add the photo that you want. And, like, put it wherever you want that and then you can add text or stickers whatever you want I don't know you can just add text and change the colors of it I literally have no idea what I'm doing you can change a font you can change the colors you can do like an outline if you want you can do anything you want but yeah and then just save it at the top and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope this helped if you have any questions leave a comment down in the just uh in the comments and yeah i'll see you guys soon